You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and check this out. This is giant. Well, it's super. It's the super set from Sans Alive Glow. I do need to say thanks to Playvision for sending us this set. And uh, it's probably a foot and a half tall by two feet long. Feels ultra smooth and soft, which it does. I have played with this before. So we kind of know what it's all about, but check out all the different molds and shapes. You get dinosaurs, bugs, and you can make a volcano. And it tells you here there is, well, it shows you just pictures on the side. This side and this side kind of just give you a little bit of the information. It's hard to get this whole box in here. But the back shows you everything that's in it, and then you get a nice detailed picture below. So I guess what I need to do is get this all out of the box, because I get to write with light, make a volcano. There's even that flashing light that goes in it. So I'll get to see all that, learn about it, and then eventually play with it all. All right, so straight out of the box is this giant tray filled with all your stuff. Now my Sands Alive has been sitting open, so that should be ready. There are four one pound bags. So let's leave that off to the side. And let's just go through this. I figured, hey, let me go through it with you right now. So let's see. You have different mold shapes. And it looks like this is a monkey, right? Happy monkey. And then here's the roller. You get two shapes, one the brick and one like a cobblestone. And those actually just slip right on. So should be cool and easy to work with. Okay, then we have this here. It is what looks to be an elephant, all right? And then this shape here is a lion. Okay. And then here is that light up ball. You tap it and it lights up and flashes. That's gonna go in the volcano. Here are little volcanoes, little molds and shapes, and then bugs. Mm. Let's check out my bugs. Looks like they're gonna light up in the light. I have a scorpion, a giant ant, a fly, what looks to be a cricket or a grasshopper, probably a grasshopper. Maybe a spider, eight legs, and then what could be a cockroach. All right. And then my glasses. Now these actually light up with light. You should be able to turn them on. See? Light up with light. Two settings. Okay. I've played with these before, and you've seen these in videos before. Looks like they've got a cushion on the nose. Here's my light up pen. This is what you can draw in. So you take that out, and that lights up on the end. And then this bag of stencils, it looks like, so you can trace your designs onto the sand and then light them up and then watch them glow with the UV light. All right, so we have some kind of animal, like a leopard maybe. Uh, what's that? What do you think that is? A squid, an elephant, and a butterfly. All right. That's everything in there. So when I come back, I'll be ready to play. We'll dump the sand in, and we'll uh, have some fun. Oh, wait. I missed it. I almost missed it. Well, I would have found them off to the side. They were off to the side. My dinosaurs. Let's see if we get all different ones, or they combine similar ones. Okay, so far those all look different. Different, different. They are all different. So you get a complete set of different dinosaurs he has a leg problem i'm gonna have to adjust him and there you go all right there they are i think that's it let me check yep we're good i'll be right back all right so i've got most of the light out i was just testing to make sure i had the right lighting watch i can circle and make designs now and then turn this off once this is off you'll be able to see it see and then of course if i really intensify one little spot watch you'll really get it to glow there so let me show you the stencils. Let me flatten out a section. Now I have another video where I showed you the smaller glow set. So you can check that one out too. I might do different things in there, but I definitely don't have the stencils that I remember in there. So now I'm highlighting the area for the butterfly. Now watch. Ooh, look at that. Let me put another one on top. And then let me do the elephant. I guess if I flip the stencil over the other way, he'll be walking the other way. Look at that. 
there better let me move that away I probably can just erase it now by moving this around okay so now that's pretty much gone let me show you this one these are neat you can probably stencil anything you want make your own stencils okay pretty cool and the last one I did not show you is this one let's erase add a little bit more new stuff to the top of that okay now you could also use the glasses too so they both will cast the light you need to have things show through there we go all right and then if I bring in other things now they will light up and glow when I'm using stuff uh, using one of the other so this one's really bright so this is for more intense writing but if you're wearing these you can kind of get a really cool glowing effect so let me do this I thought maybe I should just turn on a couple of my black lights for a little different play so what should happen now is everything in this tray should turn this color because it's going to be a nice consistent black light so it'll reverse the effect all right so let me come back to that then I can just play with stuff that glows and you'll see it really good see it's kind of like that you see the dyno but when you have light on the dyno then he really stands out so let's check it out I'll be right back all right so now I have a total glow so everything is actually glowing now when I move the stencil away you'll see the stencil part is what you're gonna see now watch that see and it's gonna go away quickly because now everything's gonna go quicker so if I put a couple of these out I will show you again and let's say I set this here watch this so when I remove this you can see the change right away see that so when I pick this sand up you'll see how cool it is now here I'll move these two Isn't that neat it's kind of like a reverse drawing or something now these should glow better which they do and then anything I bring in with the colors is really gonna stand out especially these bugs look at them Ooh, glowing bugs all right so now let me just show you the sand in this now I didn't do this in the last video I played with this not with the full glowing lights or black lights see how that really just changes now so let's say I want to build my big volcano and we'll have some land around it okay here's my volcano and you could still use the pen here I'll show you it's just not going to stay as bright because everything now is glowing so if here's my lava flow can you see it here let me do that again you see it not as it's not going to stay as long all right so here is my volcano because I want to get my flashing light so if you're not comfortable with flashing red lights then this would be the time to skip ahead so let me just put it inside there like it's my lava flow Ooh, close it up a little bit ah nice now the dinosaurs come in dun, 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 dun. and the giant bugs Ooh, look at him up there cool the giant bugs are now trying to get up the volcano so I guess I need to tap it let me see if I tap it with this yes it works and I'll roll out some rocky terrain hard to see here let me make a shape now a glowing shape Isn't that neat how this just changes colors so now technically when I pull him out he should be almost the grayish dark color and he should change see that Ooh, I don't know if you saw that let's see that again yeah it's not just the shadow changing he's actually changing from one color to another here tap there we go let's get another smaller volcano let's get you on top of one of your little perches nice can we see him up there there he is remember this tray is actually purple so with all the black light it really changes the color 
down to my lava flow. Let's get you in here. Let's tap the light again. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Look at the bug. Here. Climbing up the side. All right, I think I got everything in there. I right, got most of the shapes too. Let's get you out of here. It's pretty neat how they glow though. You can actually just use the shapes as background pieces, right? Where's the other ones? Here, we'll put this guy here. He should glow pretty good. Now I'll just show you. Let me turn off the black lights and you'll see the difference. Here, watch. Okay, so you could still play with it this way. And now you can do this kind of effect with your lava flow. As you see the lava glowing here, let's turn you off. Ooh, the lava. All right, let me turn the black lights back on so you can kind of see the difference. Which way do you like it? Do you like it this way where it's all actually glowing and then it reverses? Or the other way? I just feel like smashing some things. I don't know why. Squishing. Let me just squish everything in one big lumpy ball and dig for it. So now I'm digging for creatures. There. Let's see. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go digging. Ooh. The ant. A dino. There he is. I have now discovered a dinosaur. Another dino. Ooh, I'm getting lucky today. Flashing red ball. Ooh, the flashing red orb. I have uncovered the flashing red orb. Let's set that off to the side. Let's dig for a scorpion. Another dino. Ooh, and my ant. Oh no, that's the fly. The fly. Dino's walking. All right, let's see. Let's dig the rest out. Let's see if I can find everything. All right, so there was quite a few dinos. Let's set them over there. Nicely glowing. And then my bugs. Let's dig, dig, ooh, way down. Another bug. A dino, ooh, look at the bugs. Some glowing bugs. There is plenty of sand in here to really, I mean, pretty much do whatever you want. Four pounds. I've never had four pounds at one time. Right, let's get you over there. Well, you gotta let me know which way do you like it? Lights on or lights off? Let's see. And then still use the pen or the glasses, that's what they're there for. I just wanted to try something a little bit different this time. Okay, now lights off. Hey, look, it's almost like two hearts. Here, I'll make two hearts. One heart, two hearts. Thank you for watching. And then the light's back on. So it's a total glow. Let's just put it all on there, make a big crashing end to my video. All right, it is the super set. I'm gonna say it's pretty super. And if you have some black lights, you can get them pretty much anywhere. I got these, Menard sells them, Home Depot sells them. Just the black light bulbs. You can put them into any fixture like I do, and then you can reverse the effect. And if you want to see that other video, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description where I kind of show the set a little bit differently than this video. Where's my flashing orb? I missed it. Oh, I put that off to the side. There it is. Ooh, I have uncovered the red orb. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.